What's up there guys, this is Cole, but welcome to another episode of Iron Man Leveling. Let's check our mail, it seems like a customary thing to do now at the start of every episode. We have a new message here from Iron Grant. What's Iron Grant got to say for himself? Yo man, loving the Iron Man Challenge series, such an awesome challenge to watch when I'm relaxing. Awesome to hear, dude. Um, I'm actually doing the Iron Man Challenge myself, inspired by you. That's fucking epic. What I always say, man, I always say everyone should at least try the Iron Man Challenge once. Um, it's good to challenge yourself, you know. Anyway, currently leveling level 14 all cunt, they're going pretty well at the moment. Apart from that, don't stop making incredible entertaining videos for all of your subs. Your pal Grant. Thanks so much, man, Grant. Really, really appreciate messages like that, dude. And I hope that you're watching this video right now, so you can hear it get read, you know? Alright, wait a minute. I just realized. I have a look is under attack. I'd say that we're making the correct call in not going to Winter Spring. That is the, that is actually the hub in Winter Spring. The correct call has been made. Fuck it, man. Silithus. Worst zone in World of Warcraft, man. The literal, just the worst zone. So terrible. But that's, that's gonna work in our favor. You watch, it's gonna work in our favor. Shit. Okay, never mind. I actually contacted uh, the dudes who run, well, not who run the Iron Man Challenge, but the people who run the, uh, the WoW Challenges website. It's been clarified, and someone mentioned in the comments as well when I mentioned the last video, we can use the auction house. Um, it seems like a bit of an exploitable loophole, if you ask me. But, fuck it, we can sell Tauran Icebreaker. You know what I'm saying? And we can sell this as well. Heart-seeking crossbow. Alright, man. So we can actually sell these on the, uh, on the Ogrimmar auction house. Let me get there. Alright, is anybody good it up already? Whoa, man, look how much this fucking thing sells for! Alright, you know what, we're just gonna undercut them by a bunch. It's got like something like that, look at that, man. And then we just go fucking... 99, 99, 97. Oh, look at that, man, we're just like one of the big retailers. Zero, zero. Zero, one. Alright, man. Let's create this. Boom. Alright. The biggest problem that I'm facing getting to fucking Silithus is I've got to go to Thousand Needles, then head down to Tanneris, then go to Ungoro Crater, run all the way through Ungoro Crater, just to get to Silithus. That's a lot of running. That's a lot of running. I'm thinking we just go to Everlook and just find some really fucking obscure, stealthy location and just grind. I will never live it down. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes, just debating, like mentally, to myself. I will never fucking forgive myself if we go to Everlook and we die. And there's just somebody waiting there. At the goddamn Flight Master. Because I saw that, I saw get attacked. Like, like I say, when we logged in. I'm just gonna make the long run to fucking, to Silithus, man. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. Because, man, if I just say, you know what, fuck it, let's just take the lazy option and just go to Winter Spring and we just die. No, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that, man. Oh my god. That's too terrifying of a thought. Um, that's enough to deter me, you know. Remember over there by those rocks in the distance? You see those? That's the first time I ever succubus, like, petted you somebody and soul-fired them, man. I just got done watching a Direct Dog movie. Direct Dog 7. Oh, man. Normally here, I'd literally just fucking jump off and rocket jump before we hit the floor. But... Fuck all of that snot. We're just gonna go the regular way down. Non-YOLO action. That's what- that's the name of the game, man. Oh my god, was that him? Was that fucking King Crush right there? <gasps> Someone's killing that! Why is it suddenly tagged? Why is that mob tagged? Who tagged that mob? Oh my god, no. No, fuck that, man. Oh man, I can't tell you how my heart's pounding right now, just from something as simple as that. Is it just a bug? I think it's actually just a bug mob. Oh my god. Oh, there he is. King Mosh? Where's King Crush? Is that like King Crush's dad or something? Alright, here we go, man. This is it. This right here. You know what the name of this place is? You know what the devs actually called this place when they were designing this zone? The asshole of the world. That's actually what they called it. The asshole of the world. It has a different name now. But its real name, its code name when they were designing the zone is 
the asshole of Azeroth. No one comes here, man. The sun never shines. The mobs have never been killed before since the game was made. And so our grind begins. After killing around seven mobs, I've realized that this is just gonna take fucking forever, man. We need to pick up at least some quests. Oh my god, man. All right, Conkrass, Jesus. Don't die me, dude. Kill this fucker, 9k XP. Pretty good. As Kriparian might say. Not gonna lie. This is a lot of grinding. <laughs> Holy shit balls, man. Have we been grinding for what feels like a million years? How long has it been? Like 40 minutes? Fuck, man. All these quests. Go out and kill like 14 of these dudes. Go out here, kill 10 of them. Collect 9 of them. Kill 15 of them. Like, fucking hell. Those people were mentioning, by the way, I mentioned last episode about um, whether the challenge would continue into Legion or not. Uh, we reached level 100. Legion rolls in. What do we do, you know? What, what's what's the next move from there? Oh fuck, I started summoning just a little too early. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, Legion rolls in, what do we do? Is the challenge back on? Um, is everybody saying, well, oh, the challenge is impossible in Legion because you have to pick a spec for artifact and blah blah blah. Even if you do have to pick a spec, you do realize that the rules will just change, right? The rules of the challenge will just, will just change so that at level 110 you're allowed to select a talent spec. That's all that that means, you know. The challenge isn't gonna like stop existing because one of the prerequisites changes, you know. But honestly, just on the topic, like thinking about it, I'm gonna say this right now. This might seem like a controversial decision, but you know what? It's the decision that I'm probably gonna go with. If we make it to level 100 here and we complete the challenge, I probably will not resume the challenge in Legion. Probably not. It's it's very very unlikely. Um, the reasoning for that is, I just wouldn't want to die and void this attempt, you know? Y you know what I'm saying? Because if we, if we reach level 100 now, and it's all legitimate and we did it, you know? We completed the Iron Man challenge, um, in, in Walls of Draenor, fucking awesome. Um, then if we die and we suddenly red flagged on the website because we failed it in Legion, because we tried to go that step further, then it sort of just casts a big shadow of the achievement that we would have made here, you know? So that's my reasoning for it. I think I'm probably going to stand by that reasoning. It's, it's, it's unlikely that I'll change my mind, you know? We'll see. It's not impossible, but it's unlikely. I know that decision might upset some people, by the way. I'm, I'm fully aware of that. But hey, let's just get to 100 first, all right? Let's just let's just get to 100 first. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, you know. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, I haven't seen a single fucking scorpion in this fucking shitting little area. Oh, I'm getting so annoyed. I haven't seen any scorpions forever. Okay, there's one scorpion, but it's right next to the fucking base. I don't like that. I don't like killing mobs right next to the goddamn thingy location. So what we're gonna do is just pull him behind here. We found Geo Lord Central. That's the positive here. That's the positive. He's gonna lob a boulder at us. He literally did just lob a boulder at us. A Geo Lord. They make out like these guys are casters. He's just some chav lobbing stones at people. I mean, ugh. I don't want the episodes to end up being like this all the time, you know? Like just being morbidly depressing or something. <laughs> and just be me moaning about how long it's taken to get these quests done. I don't know. Hopefully these are still like still fun to watch. Ooh. We like ourselves ram up every now and again. As long as you don't fucking want your conk. Holy shit. God damn it. This guy's damage is fucking disgusting. Infernal's coming down. I'm gonna start resummoning Conk right now, because he's just getting fucking two shotted. My god. Look at that damage, man! He's dead again already! Resummoning again? Oh my god, man. Oh, uh, don't let him touch me! Don't let him fucking touch me, man. I don't want this guy to just crit and one-shot me, you know? Am I in range of that chain lightning? I sure hope not. He's dead. 8.4k XP? Man, I just deserve like 10 dings for that shit. Now's as good a time as any to mention it. Um, I actually worked with cartoons on a basic destruction warlock guide like a couple of months ago now two or three months ago now i was supposed to shout it out like way way earlier 
Um, I know that disc was going to be changing a lot in in uh, in fucking Legion, of course. In fact, well, hopefully the fundamentals will stay kind of similar, so the guide will continue to have some merit uh, to anybody who wants to who wants to purchase it. It's it's ten dollars. Um, it's a very very basic guide. Uh, I will say that you know it just helped to support me. And um, if you do go ahead and and decide to pick up one of them for yourself, a couple of things to note though. Very very basic. I'd more recommend it to people who've literally never played Destro before, and maybe thinking about re-rolling or having an alt in Legion or something, and they want to just get some basic uh, basic class knowledge, you know, um, basic damage rotation stuff like that in PvP. And I'll also say to just bear in mind that I'm not, I'm not peer gating anything, you know. I'm not peer gating anything. If anybody wants to ask me for, well, for anything, if I can help in any way at all, um, I'm always happy to answer comments and. Hey, you know, I do make the occasional guide video and stuff like that. Macro guides, talent guides, things like that. I tend to always make those towards the start of an expansion, so... A lot of the basic knowledge is, um, is up and around there, but if you all just want it in one cumulative guide, it's there. It's there for you, you know. It's there for you to pick up, and like I said, it does help support me a little bit as well, so... There you go. I just had to throw that out there. Sell out Brack over, over and out. Oh, thank god. All right. All fucking right. We finally did it. Jesus, that one quest took like an hour and 40 minutes. I was gonna type slash played now, by the way. It's gonna happen, get ready. Slash played. Oh my god, two hours and 43 minutes played at this level. It's gonna be like three hours spent at this fucking level, man. See, people always ask as well, like, isn't the series taking a bit long and blah blah blah, it's like, I'm trying, trust me, I'm trying, guys. But my god, it takes, it, it takes a while. Warlock Iron Man damage is pretty awful. Boom. Alright, man. Level 58. Look at that shit. So, we can technically go to Outland right now. We can technically go to Outland right now. Isn't that insane? Isn't that something? It's really something, man. Man, I'm just letting that sink in for a moment, actually. My god. We fucking did it, guys. We did it. Outland, here we come. Soon. Alright, oh my goodness. It has been a fucking grueling ass recording session. Ruling ass recording session. Holy shit. For what it's worth. I hope you guys enjoyed this fucking video. Before we wrap up though, man, do we have some fucking patrons to shout out? Let me get up the list right now so I can give these people, you know, the things that they deserve. Alright, so the list of newest patrons starts off with Stig Dahl. Stig Dahl. We have Sukura. And we have Shane Skavinsky Power. Skavinsky Power. Isn't that just the greatest? Exins, who's also. Uh, a sub on Twitch, fucking awesome. John Morell and Alexander Carlson. Thanks so much to all of you guys. Fucking really, really mean it. Um, you, you know, your guys' pledges help me do this for a living. Well, I, I feel like I've said it all before, but fuck it. I'm gonna keep on saying it. I'm gonna keep on saying it. The pledges on Patreon mean the fucking well to me. Um, we actually hit like a hundred patrons for a while. At the time that I upload this video, you know, some people might have had to cancel the pledges and stuff like that, which is absolutely fine, you know. Do you first. But my god, to think that there are a hundred people, a hundred people who, who'd who gone out of the way uh, to support the channel like this is just, it's just fucking mind-blowing. Thanks so, so much, guys. But for now, oh man, for reasons of just fatigue, actual fatigue, trying to stay focused and trying to make sure that I don't die, and um, keeping an eye out for allies and just... Man, it feels like we only did about eight quests there or something, and it took us like two hours and forty minutes. Or some obscene amount of time like that. I don't even know how long's passed. Jeez, that just felt like it took forever. Um, but man, level 58, guys. Level 58. D we could go to Outland right now. We could actually, like, click on... Should we go to Outland? Should we just look at Outland? Should we do that shit? We could do it. We could just go and look at Outland. The Dark Portal area is a sanctuary, actually. We can't die if we go there. I'm, like, 99% sure. All right, you know what, fuck it. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. It is a sanctuary. It is a sanctuary. 
Look at it. Look at it, guys. Oh my god. You know what, Conquest? You go stand over here. We just gotta get it. We just gotta get a screenshot, man. We gotta get a screenshot. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Conquest right here. We get Looney right there. There she is. Oh my god. Get that UI off. Print screen. You know what? You know what we're gonna do for the thumbnail? Sorry, Luna. Get up one sec. Uh. Look at that, dude. Oh, the little goblin that could. The little goblin that fucking could, man. Fucking awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna get myself back to Ogrimmar, where it's nice and safe. Maybe half myself back to Wonder City. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Iron Man. I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a future episode. After some careful planning and preparation, of course. Thanks, everybody. Okay. With sand, man, because there's a fucking cannon about to fire shoot us in the face here. Fire in the fucking hole. Oh my god.